they would begin their tour in New York in the east and end it in San Francisco in the west. They would give 10 performances in 10 different cities in 24 days, cross and crisscross the country in the course of it. Everywhere, by the thousands, Americans would flock to see them. The 60 performers of La Troupe Populaire Libanaise and the Caracalla dancers. But above all, they would come to see and hear the famed Feirouz. it would be their first visit to the United States. There had been weeks of preparation for the tour, weeks of anticipation. And then, finally, the day came, and at 7.05 in the Beirut morning, they flew out. 16 hours later, they arrived. At every stop, there were greetings and welcomes, well-wishers by the score. But arriving at airports in the morning, as they usually did, performing often that same night, often leaving again early the following morning, the key to the tour became the pace that had to be maintained. From plane to bus to city, and from city to bus to another plane again. And always, with each new city, a different hall to play, different technical problems to solve, and rehearsals, rehearsals.
When she could attend, there were receptions held in her honor. For many Americans, such evenings meant a chance to meet in person, if only briefly, an artist whose name to them was legend. But always it was the rigid schedule that determined ultimately whether she might go, and when, and when it was time to leave. Suddenly, it seemed, they were there. And just as suddenly, the realization that soon it would be over.